Hey everyone, and welcome to Patch of the Week with Volca Modular from Korg, where we take a patch and show you how to create it so you can follow along at home and create some cool stuff on your own Volca Modular. This week we're going to be using the Woggle or Sample and Hold on Volca Modular to modulate the pitch, but in a way that we haven't done yet in Patch of the Week. The first thing that we're going to want to do is trigger the second function from its own end of cycle trigger. So this is going to loop the function, so creating an LFO. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is take the positive output of this and go into the input of the Woggle. So there's two inputs on the Woggle. There's a trigger input, which will cause the Woggle to sample a voltage. And then there's the actual input of the Woggle. And that's where the voltages come in. So if there's nothing patched into that patch point, it's just going to be sampling random voltages. Uh, like you would be sampling a white noise in a Eurorack, for example. But if I take a source, modulation from anywhere on Volca Modular, and put it into the input of the Woggle, that's going to cause that Woggle to sample, in this case, the output of the function. So if I make that really slow, and then I trigger the Woggle to sample, every single time there's a note played by the sequencer using the non-dividing output of the sequencer and then go into step record and step record 16 notes now I'm going to be sampling every time a note plays and the voltages that I'm going to be sampling are going to be coming from function 2 which is on a very slow cycle saw wave you can watch the light And that's because I have the clock turned up all the way. If I instead turn the shape all the way to the other side, you can watch the Woggle value indicator slowly light up brighter and brighter as the wave ramps up. So now let's use that modulation information somewhere. Let's take another patch cable and take the output, in this case the stepped output, of the Woggle and go into the pitch input on the source. So this is kind of like, for example, on an ARP Odyssey, if you were to self-trigger the sample and hold, and then send that modulation back to the oscillator pitch. And you can do this on a lot of different synths, but for hard patch synths, it's kind of rare. With the Volca Modular, because we have patch points and we can combine our different modules in different ways, it's really easy to do that. So let's come up with some different ways of using that modulation information. For example, let's take the output of that and instead go into the space out. And let's turn that all the way back to a quick decay. And take the smooth output and go into the fold. So we can get some pretty cool sounds out of that and even some sound effects that you could use if you were sound designing or doing Foley. So that's going to be Volca Modular Patch of the Week for this week. Thanks so much for watching.